Hello my lovelies, I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're taking a good long hard squint at the Huawei Watch 4 Pro. It's a massive 48mm chunks to boast and all kinds of great features including some planety stuff for space boffins, lots of health shenanigans to tell you what a massive tub of lard you are, and even a good bit of eSIM support if you want to ditch the phone. The Huawei Watch 4 Pro will cost you 500 quid here in Blighty or 550 depending on whether you want the leather or titanium band. I've had it slapped on my arm for a week now, so here's my Huawei Watch 4 Pro review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So let's start with the design. And while the regular Huawei Watch 4 is a 46mm effort, the Huawei Watch 4 Pro is 48mm. That's pretty ruddy massive, even for a modern smartwatch. And certainly on my spindly wee kindergarten wrists, it looks kind of massive. Quite chunky as well, as you can see there. So, you know, if you're man-sized, then it'll probably be fine. If you're more fun-sized, like myself, you might want to go for the regular while we watch 4 instead. This Pro model also has a proper heft to it at 65 grams, although that's not quite to the level of the Huawei Watch Ultimate, which was like having a double-decker bus strapped to your arm. Now, half a grand for a smartwatch obviously ain't particularly cheap, but it is constructed from premium materials. So, for instance, you get a sapphire screen. Hopefully, you can tell there it's got a slightly subtle curve to it. I mean, we are talking super subtle here. It's much more obvious when you actually run your thumb over it. And as you can see, those bezels don't actually stick up above the surface of the screen in order to protect it, but no worries. I've slammed this screen off of several incredibly tough surfaces over the past week, and so far not a single nick or scratch anywhere on that display. And the casing of the watch is constructed from titanium alloy as used on rocket ships, whoop, so the entire watch is still looking box fresh, despite how much I flap about and crack this thing off of walls and various bits of studio equipment. And this watch is also IP68 water and dust resistant. It can be submerged to depths of 30 meters and survive around five atmospheres of pressure. And with the Huawei Watch 4 Pro, you've got a choice of leather or titanium bands. This is, of course, the titanium. As you can see, you can easily snap this off if you want to replace it with a different one. And if you do opt for the metal band, thankfully it is easy to resize. No piddling about with tiny tools, thank Christ. Each link has a wee switch so you can remove as many as you like to get it to fit your own wrist no matter how spindly. Now to actually set up the Huawei Watch 4 Pro you'll have to download the Huawei Health app. This is available for both iOS and Android devices but if you are rocking an Android you will need to download it direct from Huawei. It's not available in the Play Store. Thankfully setup was fast and simple. The two paired up in a matter of seconds. And the Huawei Health app is pretty bloody good actually. You've got a lot of control over your watch so you can download and update the watch faces, transfer music, even download new apps via Huawei's app gallery. Less said about Huawei Wallet the better but we'll bang on about that later. You can also play around with most of the settings on the smartwatch direct through this app. And you want to make sure you check in here occasionally to see if there's a firmware update because I've had two just in the past week. Now the screen on the Huawei Watch 4 Pro is a 1.5 inch AMOLED display, completely round as you can see there. And even though it's quite big, it's a supremely sharp display, 466 by 466 pixel resolution. So even tiny text and icons and images are crispy as out. Because this is an AMOLED screen, you've got really nice poppy, bright, vibrant colors. Contrast is super sharp, which really helps with outdoor visibility, as does the peak brightness, which is powerful enough to sear your retinas. Got great viewing angles on here as well. Overall, it is a top smartwatch panel as you'd expect at this price point. And it's an LTPO display as well, which means that that refresh rate can scale all the way down when the watch really isn't in use. For instance, when it's just shown the always on display and that'll really help to preserve the battery life. Now, as always, you've got a variety of watch faces here, including Huawei's new Planet Quest efforts. This creature with a different planet every day. In this case, we're on Twisted Wee World. Kind of cool, shows you exactly which bits of the Earth are up still in dark and which ones are basking in sunlight. Give it a bit of a twirl, exciting stuff. I'd imagine it probably gets quite repetitive though, once eight days have gone by. You've got a good variety of watch faces pre-installed on here and I really like how Huawei has added a power level indicator up top as well. So you've got a rough approximate idea of how much battery life they will drain. And quite a few of these are animated, including this here fishy dream effort, which really helps to bring the Huawei Watch 4 Pro to life. Got plenty of analog and digital ones to choose from, including quite a few that are absolutely packed, very dense with information. And if you tap the little cog on the watch face selector, you can change up exactly what information is displayed. So if you're not particularly bothered about waning gibbuses, you can get a bit of heart rate action on the go, check out your calorie burn, all kinds of random stuff. 
Likewise, if you're not really particularly interested in how much battery life you have remaining, you can change that to a stopwatch or a timer function. Check out the way that you got a shortcut to the Huawei wallet. There's also an option to create your own video watch face, but this is a wee bit glitchy to say the least at the time I shot this video. And if we jump back on into that mobile app, you've got a massive selection of watch faces you can download and install on the Huawei Watch 4 Pro. But as you can see, a lot of these do actually cost you several British quids. Now I guess if you've already spunked out half a grand on a watch, a few extra quid isn't too much to ask, but there is thankfully a free section. So you can have a good browse of that and see if there's anything in there that tickles your fancy, so to speak. And yes, pretty much all of these watch faces have a correspondent always on display as well, keeping it nice and consistent. Now the actual UI here on the Huawei Watch 4 Pro, I get on really well with it. Similar enough to Wear OS and most other smartwatch interfaces that you should get to grips with it pretty quick. It's intuitively laid out. So from your main watch face, you can swipe left in order to access your widgets. As always, these are fully customizable, just long press and you can add in extra widgets and take out any others you don't want. And there's a pretty decent selection of widgets uh, here as well, most of them health based as you would imagine. And for the Huawei Watch 4 Pro, you've got some fresh new widgets which actually aggregate a lot of that widget information, cramming it all into one screen. So for instance, with the lifestyle widget, you've got calendar and date information, you've also got shortcuts to whichever apps or features you prefer. But if you don't like any of these bits, you can rip them out and replace them with other bits. So for instance, you've got the weather forecast here, more health shenanigans. However you want it, you've got it. And there's also a fresh new health dashboard as well, which gives you a quick glimpse at your major stats and also allows you to take an all-in-one health readout, a health glance as it's known. I'll tell you all about that in a bit. And you can also kick stress right in the cock with some nifty breathing exercises. And once again, all completely customizable. Now, if you swipe right from that main watch face instead, you've got fast access to Huawei's Celia Assistant. Hi, Celia. Some watches come with the Google Assistant or Alexa or whatever, but yes, on here you've got Celia, who is a very special case indeed. Frankly, I think you'd have more luck if you posed your questions to a pissed off badger you just caught urinating on your daffodils, but hey ho. If you want to give her a go, you can either tap this little icon here, otherwise you can also long press this button button. Or you can also wake her up by saying, hey Celia, if you've enabled that option, and I most certainly have not. When are Sunderland Football Club playing their next match? Sorry, I didn't understand that. How many grams in a kilogram? Sorry, I didn't understand that. I set a timer for five minutes. Surely you can do that. Okay, timer set to five minutes. Oh, victory. Yeah, I'm just going to stick to the pissed off badger option. To be honest, you're more likely to get savaged, but it makes me less angry. If you swipe up, you'll be able to browse your notifications. And as always with Huawei Watches, if you've got a Gmail notification, all you can do is read a bit of it. You can't actually respond to it, delete it, anything like that. You can delete the notification. That's basically it. However, in somewhat of a breakthrough, you can now actually respond to messages in WhatsApp and Messenger direct through the watch. All you've got to do is tap this wee icon down here. And you can either tap out your reply on a painfully small keyboard. Frankly, you're much better off just pulling your phone out of your pocket. Or alternatively, you can reply using your voice courtesy of that built-in mic. And that mic is usually pretty good at hearing you, even over quite a lot of background noise, if not quite as perfect at always working out the exact words that you said. And though to be fair, most of the time it does a solid job. You can also use that built-in mic to record wee voice memos, little reminders when you're out and about. And with the mic and speaker setup, you can also answer phone calls without, you know, going to all the effort of pulling your phone out of your pocket. Instead, you can just wander down the street talking at your wrist and looking like a complete mentalist. But again, that speaker nice and loud and clear, so noisy environment's not a problem. My only real ball ache with this thing is that you can't answer WhatsApp calls on the regular traditional phone calls for some reason. And yeah, you've got a good bit of eSIM support on here as well as Wi-Fi for getting connected. And of course, you can also connect to the internet via your phone. You can manage your connections and access all of the settings by dragging down from that main watch face. You'll find all the main toggles in here. You can also edit the screen if you want to take out some toggles you don't really use. And the more eagle-eyed among you will have noticed there are two buttons here on the right edge of the Huawei Watch 4 Pro. That top one you can tap in order to wake up the device and also to bring up your full list of apps. And it's a rotating dial, so you can actually use it to zoom in and out of that apps menu, as well as scroll through any other menus. 
You've got a reasonable number of apps pre-installed here on the Huawei Watch 4 Pro, including all of the basics, all of the essentials. You've got timers and alarms. A bit of pedal maps, which can run independently here on the watch if you've got eSIM. And if you're an outdoorsy kind of person, you've got usual barometers and compasses, etc. And it used to be when you tap this bottom button, you'd be able to record an exercise session. But now when you tap it, you've got what Huawei has termed the quick bar. And this gives you fast access to three of your favorite apps and features. And this is completely customizable via the settings. So I've kept the fitness tracking in there. I've also got the health glance feature and also the timer because I use that quite a lot. Now, if you want to, you can actually download more apps direct through the watch via the Huawei app gallery. This has quite a lot of apps stashed on it these days, although perhaps not a huge number that you might actually be tempted to download. Got some mapping stuff, lots of calculators for some reason, a couple of health apps, including Adidas Running. There's an air horn app, and as someone who likes to annoy the living piss out of people, I'm definitely intrigued. Brace yourself. I mean, it was all that I possibly hoped and dreamed it would be. Oh, you've got different colours of air horn as well. Does it actually make any difference to the sound? Oh! Oh, and then it crashed. Very oh, good! I mean, that's definitely my favourite, of course. Great stuff, love it. Go, no, no, go away! Oh, Christ's sakes. Got some simple games on there as well, including good old noughts and crosses, of course. Well, wow, that was bloody easy. I mean, I'm assuming it's the Celia AI that you're playing against here. And one more quickly, let's test out the Love Tester, which appears to actually just be a daily horoscope app. Hang on a sec, what? I'm sorry, but that is not a lion. That is most definitely Hitler's gonads. There is a Love Test bit, but this just permanently says it's offline. Just like my love life then, eh? Oh, ah. And yes, you do have the Huawei Wallet here on the Huawei Watch 4 Pro as well. As you can see, you can add cards via the health app, but unfortunately, any actual credit cards or debit cards or anything are right out here in the UK. All you can add are loyalty cards, which is a bit of a bum. Now, of course, a large part of the appeal of smartwatches is the fitness features. And as always, you can track your exercise sessions here in the Huawei Watch 4 Pro with support for a huge number of efforts covering pretty much anything you could possibly think of. It's pretty much comprehensive, everything from golfing to swimming, martial arts, body combat, lots of dad shenanigans, even stuff like hula hooping, frisbeeing and darts, the sort of periphery. Is it really a sport? Is it a sport if you sit on a horse for an hour? Mm. I do enjoy a good bit of weekend shuttlecocking though. So yeah, whatever you're into basically, chances are it's going to be covered. And when you start a session, you get full voice feedback. Workout started including regular updates every time you hit like 10 minutes or a certain heart rate. If you actually get the chance, you can check out all of your stats as you're exercising right here on the screen. Here you got fast access to your media controls mid-workout as well. And at any point you can pause the workout by tapping the top button. Workout paused. And then finish it off. Dive back into that Huawei Health mobile app and you can see exactly how much exertion you went through during the exercise, heart rate recovery, how many calories burned, etc. And I briefly showed you earlier the health at a glance feature. This is really good if you just want a fast readout of all of your main stats. So just tap measure and this takes a good couple of minutes. Walks you through all the different bits. So it starts off with a good bit of ECG action. Then you've got your heart rate, SPO2 levels and stress levels. Then it's a new feature, the respiratory health test. For this one you basically just need to cough on your watch a couple of times. <coughs> And then you'll basically be walked through your results. So apparently my respiratory check was merely average. You can check out your SpO2 levels, your stress levels, skin temperature, ECG, and apparently the arterial stiffness test failed, which is just as well, because usually I'm told off for that one as well. And apparently if you keep taking these tests long enough, the app can warn you of any possible long-term health issues. For instance, if it notices that your rest and heart rate is rising over time, could potentially save you from keeling over prematurely. And yes, our old favourite Huawei's Health Clover is back in action again as well, including those slightly awkward enforced smiling shenanigans. There is a pretty good reason for having such a chunky frame, and that's the fact that Huawei has managed to cram a 790 milliamp hour capacity battery inside. And Huawei reckons this will serve up around four to five days of full-on use from a single charge. And I've found I've been getting closer to three and a half to four days, to be honest, but then I have been using it quite extensively. So I've made use of the power drain and watch faces. I've had the always on display permanently turned on, all of the health features turned on. 
been wearing at night for the sleep tracking as well. Well, sleep tracking, I forgot to mention the sleep tracking. Yeah, this thing can actually rate your sleep out of five stars. I actually somehow managed to get a four star sleep last night, apparently. Usual breakdown of how much deep sleep, light sleep, etc. I find all this stuff pretty much pointless, but if you enjoy that sort of thing, it's right here. If that battery is almost draining and for whatever reason you can't recharge the watch, well, you've got an ultra long battery life mode, which is actually more useful than usual. You can do more than just tell the time with it. You can still track your exercise sessions, get all your stats updated, use that Celia Assistant. Woohoo! Pretty decent and of course you can just slap it onto the bundled magnetic dock when it does need to recharge and it takes around 90 minutes if it's fully drained to get back to that 100% level. So overall I gotta say the battery life comparable to the TicWatch Pro 5 which I do prefer as a smartwatch because it's Wear OS so therefore you've got more Android functionality. But all the same the Wambi Watch 4 Pro is absolutely packed with great features and boasts a stunning premium design as well but of course it ain't cheap at half a grand. So what do you reckon of the Huawei Watch 4 Pro? Be great to your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.